Good evening. Okay. Welcome everyone to our workshop. It is uh, informal, but we have microphones all play right here the back there. <coughs> this workshop is designed for the board to hear information on, uh, that we have requested from the administration in the previous meeting. It's a workshop that's time for us to thoroughly review the information. And uh, we have a series of steps we're going to go through. And I'd like to welcome you here, administration. Thank you all for taking the time and, and for all the hard work you put into this presentation to the board. There's a, a number of the, the workshop pro protocol is that, uh, and I'll just read through this. So the board has this in front of us so that everybody behind me can hear. Uh, after we've asked all the questions, we will direct administration on next steps. We're not going to be making any motion or anything like that, but they'll get a general feeling from the board on a direction. And the public will have an opportunity to provide information to us in several ways. You can email us your thoughts and recommendations, or you can provide public testimony at a special call meeting scheduled for March 22nd. And throughout the presentation, feel free to ask questions. That's directed to the Board. And please direct your questions to a specific person instead of a person at large. They'll make it uh, more direct and more understanding to the administrator of who you want to answer the question. So uh, I'm going to give this microphone over to Dr. Goodell, who has some of your Thank you, uh, President Kyer. Uh, board, uh, obviously, uh, uh, when I got here, actually slightly before I got here, of course, for me, I realized that you're facing the decision that there was some strong views about. Uh, we've heard a lot of people in the last two months come forward uh, and, and address you regarding the proposal on uh, the uh, ninth and 10th grade centers at Louisville High School. Um, this has been a proposal that's been before you actually since, I think, as early as 2006. Uh, and uh, uh, it's been the, um, the uh, intention of the district, it appears, to build two 9th and 10th grade centers. Uh, recently, though, there's been a great deal of discussion about that. Uh, I wanted to find out uh, and just come on the job as much as I could about uh, the history of this and the nature of the proposals and, and see where we stood. And uh, I, I'm grateful to uh, the administration for uh, meeting with me and sharing the background. Uh, I also asked that uh, I want to be I want to be thorough on this, and I and, and I, I want to be sure that the public knew that we did hear what they were saying, that we wanted to take that into consideration. Um, it's late in the day. Um, we do need to take some kind of action to move forward. We we have to get going for the sake of high school and students, and uh, yet we want to do what we could to demonstrate responsibility. So, uh, what we have here tonight in this workshop is, is uh, we still have a proposal before you. The, the 9th and 10th grade proposals, the two 9th and 10th grade centers is still the proposal. Um, we want to discuss that a little more thoroughly with you. At the same time, I asked uh, the administration to go back and be creative and see if it's the will of the board do not continue forward in this direction. What are the various options that could be out there to brainstorm that? They did a, a spur job of that. So tonight we're going to discuss the, the standing proposal, which is the 9th and 10th grade centers, um, and uh, press um, some possible alternatives to that, still with that concept in mind, but also to, to um, um, show you for your discussion and questions uh, alternatives that could possibly consider if you chose not to move forward with that. We do have a building that's going up. That's there. The, the, the difficult thing about this decision is there, there are already some givens that cannot be ignored. And uh, so uh, we have to figure out how to make that work. Um, the main thing is we make a decision that's in the best interest of the kids of Louisville uh, High School. And also, uh, keeping in mind, the considerations of the entire district. Um, so I know you have a difficult decision ahead of you. Our hopes are tonight, um, and if something like this, it's probably going to be impossible to make everybody happy. Uh, it's just one of those situations. But I told the administrators when I asked them to, to get to 
work on this, that I wanted as much as possible to try to get a win-win situation. Uh, sometimes that requires a little give and take. Um, we'll see what we get. I hope after this evening that we'll leave with some clear idea and consensus uh, on, on what we're going to do and we can start coming together as a community and move forward and make this work. Um, and uh, so that's what I'm hoping out of tonight. Um, that we that we, we can come to a decision um, that we'll know, the staff will know, the community will know what our intentions are, and uh, we move forward and implement that, and that uh, we start coming back together again, and um, this does not remain as a divisive issue. So with that, I'm going to uh, turn it over and uh, we have a little video that we kind of want to begin to set the tone for this. And Dr. Riddell, I'd just like to give credit to Jody Renfro uh, for her work on this. And it's basically just to set the tone, this is all about being a farmer. So OK. 
Okay, can you hear me? Okay, Ms. Ms. Kyer, School Board, Dr. Bell, we'd like to thank you for the opportunity to speak to you tonight. I know on, on behalf of Mr. Burns, Ms. Flores, and I, we really wanted to kind of tell our side of the story. I think for the last two or three months, we've been hearing everybody else's side of the story and, and everybody else's plan, I think, and not many people have asked us, what's your plan? So I think that's our plan, is we're going to tell you that tonight. So um, I'm going to apologize now. Um, I'm going to be completely honest tonight. And that's really the only thing I know to do. Fifteen years ago, I was a 27-year-old teacher, Louisville High School. cafeteria listening to our principal at the time, Mr. Doug Killer. Mr. Killer broke the news to us that the next year we were going to be opening a ninth grade campus called Louisville North. We sat in front of Mr. Killo and he assured us that he had a plan for the ninth grade center to be successful. He said that we were going to focus on academics, school pride, and consistency. He told us we need to keep one thing in focus, and that was the students. Well, this is, this is year 14 of the ninth grade center, and I think it looks like we did a pretty good job carrying out this plan. Tonight we sit here at another crossroads for Louisville High School. There are several people here in favor of the 19 concept and some opposed. But the question I think we need to answer tonight is what's best for the students, not what's best for the adults. The opponents say this concept will ruin school pride, cause division, and cause students to spend too much time on the bus. I think that's pretty ironic because that was the same reasons 15 years ago why they said the ninth grade concept wouldn't work. I'm here tonight to tell you why expanding the ninth grade concept to a 9 concept is the best thing for the students of Louisville High School. You as a school board have the opportunity to help students go to school of around a thousand students for two of the most important years of their lives. All research says ninth and 10th grade are the most crucial years for a high school career and that student success in these grades will directly impact graduation, their career, and their life. We have all seen the data and we know the sophomore dropout rate is the highest in the state. But this is even more true at Louisville High School in our Louisville theater zone because of our mobility rate and our percentage of students who are economically disadvantaged. Many people don't realize the impact of a high mobility rate on a high school. Just at Kilo alone, to this date, we've had 186 students enroll since the second week of school. We've had 154 move and leave. This is approximately 15%, 15 to 20% turnover in our school every year. But think about it this way. Louisville High School, that number is 450 to 600 students a year that come and go. People don't realize how and why students move. One of the big reasons we've seen is most of our students that move are on a six-month lease on apartment complexes. 
their parents see that they can get at the end of their six month lease. If they move to another apartment complex, they can get the first month's rent free, causing them to move over and over and over, causing gaps in their learning, causing several other things, which also includes losing credits each time they move that are really hard to be recaptured. At Kilo, we've developed a way and a support system to recapture those credits and help those students. We've been able to do this because we have a small learning community, 1,000 students. Every student that enrolls in our school at any time during the year does not go to class on the first day. They stay in the office, they take benchmark tests, they meet the counselors, they meet every assistant principal, and they meet me. We're able to do this because we only have 1,000 students. This would basically be impossible with 3,000 students. You might also want to know why I'm so confident that this 910 concept will work. Well, to, be, to begin with, and I didn't mention this much when I came here first, I grew up in Plano and attended the 910 Center in a senior high school. Back then there was a huge rivalry between Louisville and Plano. I can assure you some of my best skills I acquired in 10th grade at Vines High School when I was elected to leadership positions. I also built a strong foundation in my academics in 9th and 10th grade that carried me on to high school, through high school and to get academic scholarships to college. Three years ago, we began working on a transition plan for the 910 concept. We began doing research and visiting other schools. Over the last 10 years, Kilo has visited over 20 schools to see what they're doing and what, what's made them successful. So we thought this would be a great idea for us to continue to do with the 910s to identify any possible barriers that might be in our way. We have visited schools in the last three years in Plano, Allen, South Lake, and HEB to see what made them successful. We discussed the things that we liked and the things that we disliked and what we thought we could do to make Louisville High School better. We looked at all the academic programs, AP programs, ESL programs, athletics, fine arts, student council, you name it, we looked at it. And we put a plan in place to address every one of them. Not once during the last three years have we said this 910 concept is not good for the Louisville High School students. Not once. One of the things we liked the most was the mandatory student parent counselor conferences that Plano has for all of their sophomores. These conferences are held for every 10th grade student to discuss graduation plans, college entrance exams, credits, and any other obstacles that might keep a student from graduating on time. At this meeting, a written plan is put in place for every student to be successful. Students are told that they will not move on to the senior high campus without the required credits, and a support system is put in place to ensure that student to be successful. I think this is a perfect example of a smaller learning community. Currently, the student population at Louisville or at Kilo High School is 56% economically disadvantaged. That means one out of every two students, over one out of every two students, is on free or reduced lunch. But you know what? When you walk into a classroom at Kilo High School, you never know it. Our students are achieving at the highest. Our students. Achieving at the highest level in the state.
We are accomplishing this because all of my teachers are on the same page and, have very, and we have a very manageable number of students. We also have a smaller staff that allows us to modify and adjust our teaching strategies throughout the year and hyper-focus on the skills that we feel our students need. In other words, when we get to a certain point and we see our students are weak in a certain skill, we stop what we're doing and we back up and we reteach it. That's a smaller learning community. Everyone is on the same page. This would be very difficult to do in a very large school. On Monday night, you had the opportunity to listen to some of my teachers speak. several things and one of them was smaller learning communities. Many of the op opposition mocked this phrase and asked for us to clarify it. Well, I can give you an explanation. A smaller learning community is like a family. When you're a member of a family, you love the rest of your family with unconditional love and you do whatever it takes to teach, protect, nurture, and provide for them. So when this way he referred to the student who was struggling so much, and he got mad and said, well, why do all you people care so much about me? It was simple. Any student that walks through the door at Kilo immediately becomes part of our family. And every adult in that building is responsible for teaching, protecting, nurturing, and providing for them. Teachers don't say my kids or your kids, they say our kids. Two weeks ago, I surveyed our teachers and I asked them what was the best for the future of Louisville High School. 85% of them said the 2-9-10 campus plan was the best, 10% remained neutral, and 5% said the ninth grade concept. To be honest with you, I was really surprised that it was 85%. I was higher than I thought it was going to be. For you see, these 70 teachers are going to have to make sacrifices for this 9-10 plan to work. One half of them will have to pack up their rooms and move to another school. This will take them out of their comfort zone and away from other teachers that they've worked with. In the comment about box of the survey, I asked the teachers to explain their answer. Nearly all the, student, all the teachers said the same thing. They said the significant gains that we make on the ninth grade campus are irrelevant if 150 sophomores are not successful at Louisville High School every year. They also said if we just had two years with them, then we would really be able to change their lives. These teachers are willing to make the sacrifice. But I guess sacrifices are something you should expect from someone who feels like they're dealing with a person who is part of their family. To me, that's also a smaller learning community. I want to close with a couple of final thoughts. As I started tonight, I said that we're here to decide what is best for all students in the Louisville High School feeder zone. That's 15,000 students. Many of our opposition are worried about losing farmer pride um, in specific programs. Just yesterday I received an email from the man who coined the phrase farmer pride in 1986. His name is Mr. Doug Killer. He has been a part of the Farmer Focus Committee for the last two years. He said that he fully supports the current 9-10 plan <coughs> and that it is the best thing for the future of Louisville High School and the best thing for Farmer Pride. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't debate Farmer Pride with Doug Killer. 
Here we sit at the crossroads again, 15 years after we pioneered the ninth grade concept. <coughs> now we have the opportunity to expand this concept to our 10th graders. We are about to receive one of the best gifts LISC may have ever given Louisville High School, especially with this current, the state's current financial s situation. A $50 million 19 center on 3040. Wouldn't it be a shame if we lose this golden opportunity to help our students because some adults don't want to change to meet our students' needs? <coughs> I have no doubt that the 910 concept is the best option for our kids. I know that we can make this work. It makes me extremely sad to think that we might be losing out on this opportunity. But then again, it makes me extremely excited to think the unlimited things that we can do for our students. I stand here tonight, I challenge each of you on the school board to make the, de the best decision for the students of Louisville High School and to approve the 910 concept. <laughs>